sharing from Right Within Yourself by William Keenauer. This is not just for writers. Pause, get your cuppa, get your pen and paper. You're going to get revelations from my revelation today on my balcony. And it's marvelous, so marvelous. I've thought a lot through the past few years of things that we have come to accept because of COVID, because of things going on in the world, because of what we focus on. And they're becoming an unwanted and unneeded and unhelpful part of who we are. So I'm listening, I'm reading right within yourself. And he says, when he was a waiter, he, he developed carpal tunnel syndrome and he you know was lifting plates and carrying trays and everything he did hurt. Everything he did hurt. And it got worse and worse. And he said, the pain was mine to bear. My attention was always on it in one way or another. The pain in my wrist was gradually becoming a part of who I was. And when I read that, I thought, the fat on my belly has become a part of who I am. I have fought it for so long. I have lamented for, about it for so long. I've been upset about it for so long. I focused on it. And as a man thinketh, so he is. And years ago, John told me, he goes, why don't you just forget about it? He goes, you've bought the Hollywood lie. Real women have bellies. Well, I weighed 20 pounds less than I do now, and I thought I was 20 pounds overweight. It was never enough because I was serving that fat. I was serving it. I was focused on it. And literally, when you do that, you will feed the very thing you're serving. And so I was literally giving food, even as I didn't want to, that was causing belly fat. I had so much knowledge, I knew what to do, I knew how to do it, and I would have successes and always, you know, go back. You all know the story. But when I read this, I thought, because of that focus, I think of myself that way, and I serve that thing that I'm focused on. And I am not serving Jesus when I'm serving that thing I'm focused on that is not of Him. That makes me unhappy. And He doesn't have any way to help me so, I'm in trouble. So he goes on to tell about the story of this. And um, he said, one day in the quiet hours between lunch and dinner, I was chatting with the hostess. While we talked, I massaged my wrist. That's what I did. And as I stood there chatting, Michael, my general manager, wandered by, looked at me and then at my wrist and said, Bill, what are you doing? I felt as if I had been caught talking to myself. All at once, I was sick of my wrist brace, my icing of my wrist, the massaging of my wrist. I was sick of living around this pain. Aren't you sick of just thinking about being unfit and overweight all the time? I took my heavy black brace and threw it in my work bag. I decided the pain didn't matter. I decided I would work regardless of the pain and I would make no allowances for the pain. If I was going to have to work every minute of every shift in pain, so be it. I couldn't control the pain. I couldn't seem to stop it. But I could choose not to care about it, not to serve it. Two days later, I was standing in the water, waiter station folding napkins. My wrist brace was at home. On this evening, I was midway through my stack of napkins. I noticed something unusual. My wrist didn't hurt. I paused for a moment. When had it stopped hurting? I couldn't remember. The wrist had hurt me for two years, and yet I couldn't remember when the pain had ceased. You would think I would be relieved, overjoyed even, but I wasn't. It was as if I had just noticed that a small scar had healed. I went back to folding my napkins, feeling as if in some strange way the wrist had never hurt at all, as if it had never been broken. You know, we make these idols, you could say, out of things that really are... They're just not real. So, I made a note to myself, no allowances for the fat. And again, you could think, okay, what's the formula? What do I do here? You, you put your eyes on Jesus. You put your eyes on Jesus. You get free. You pray yourself free. You declare yourself free of self-reliance. Very simple. Very hard. God's ways are not complicated. Not easy, but straightforward and simple. Turn your eyes upon Jesus.
and please share and please like and please subscribe.